Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1978 and 1981 to listen to Seminare and Lo que dice la lluvia by Argentine progressive rock band Seru Giran. And of course, I'm excited to be getting back into this band. It's been about four months. Uh, we'll start with Seminare comes from Seru Hiran, their first studio album. It's about a man chasing after a woman on the move, begging for her love. Uh, he offers everything he can to her, but it's simply not enough. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community, where it's all amazing music all the time. And a reminder to check out my Patreon page for exclusive reactions not found here on YouTube, no time era restrictions, and one full album reaction every month. Link is in the description below. All right, here we go. Quiero ver, quiero entrar. Nena, nadie te va a hacer mal. Excepto amarte. Vas aquí, vas allá, pero nunca te encontrarás al escaparte. No hay fuerza alrededor, no hay pociones para el amor. ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde Porque estamos en la calle de la sensación, uh, lejos del sol. So delicate. Que quema de amor. Te doy pan, quieres sal. Nena, nunca te voy a dar lo que me pides. Te doy Dios, quieres más, es que nunca comprenderás a un pobre pibe. Esas motos que van a mí, solo el viento te hará sentir nada más. Frente a mí sé que tu corazón diría que sí. Wow, a short song, but very beautiful. I love how it unfolded and kind of built up, you know, slowly and beautifully. Uh, we start off with this great, distant-sounding, quiet piano uh, combined with those soft but passionate vocals by Charlie. I don't know because Wikipedia 
never tells me who the singers are in the specific songs, so you'll have to let me know if this was Charlie singing. He wrote the song, so I suspect it is him on lead vocals. He sounded beautiful here. I talked about building uh, later on this bass drum, beautiful acoustic guitar, and some great harmonies came in for, you know, additional layers to this strong, uh, fairly simple, but very strong emotional song. Uh, but around the 60% mark, pure magic when that commanding synth solo came in. I was trying to play the melody. That was amazing. Probably my favorite part of this song. Then towards the end, everything gets small again. We go back down to that soft, quiet, delicate pocket with the pianos and probably some more vocals. Wow. You know, this is a pretty short song, but it's full of great peaks and valleys. To quickly, you know, in three minutes or so, tell this beautiful story. I can totally hear in his um, voice, his vocal delivery, the heartbreak that the narrator's feeling by, you know, not being able to be with this woman, kind of unrequited love, not feeling good enough, trying his best and failing. And then one big final moment to take us out of the song. We get more of that synth to end on literally a high note up there in the keyboard. Wow, beautiful, strong, lovely song. I can definitely see why this is one of their most popular songs and probably one of their most loved songs. I'm going to give it five golden records, an A score for Seminare by Seru Hiran, 1978. All right, now we'll go on to Lo Que Dice La Lluvia. Comes from Peperina, their fourth studio album, and last one until 11 years later. It's an instrumental song and was written by bassist Pedro Aznar. Let's check it out.
interesting. What an emotional journey that was. Another great one that built up slowly, slowly as it went on. Perfect ending. I love that they kept that deep uh, bass, synth bass note. Just held it, held it, held it. Wow. Really different from the Seru Hiran I've heard. I love it. It's instrumental. It already stands apart from the rest. Tiny bit of vocals. We'll talk about that. But wow, what a song. So emotional. We start with this very reflective, beautiful piano melody. It was captivating, yet very solemn at the same time. Wow. The opening melody literally felt like raindrops, the way Pedro was playing it. I'm assuming it's him playing and not Charlie, since he wrote the song. Uh, just so different. He was mimicking the rain, in my opinion, with the way he was playing that piano. And of course, I loved it. Um, I love that this song is an instrumental so much can be conjured up in the listener's mind, including mine. You know, it's kind of left open to interpretation, what you want to take from it, what you want to think about, how you want to feel. But wow, just beautiful all around. We did get some vocals, just a bit. He started with a la and just held it. Uh, that was a nice surprise. Didn't expect any vocals here. I think he did a ooh, something else, but it fit perfectly into the song, yet very understated because the instrumentation was clearly the star of this one. I really loved how that synth came in later on, started doing its own thing, uh, but was a great layer on top of the foundation that the piano melody laid in the beginning of the song, if that makes sense. So, you know, I think the piano was still going. Again, add that layer of synth, just beautiful, powerful, even more effective as the song went on. Then soon after, we got a third layer of rich synth that came in, heightened my emotions even further. Wow, my emotions truly got bigger and bigger as the song went on. By the end, it was just like pure heaven, pure deep emotion. Of course, I love all that. Um, and I got several different types of emotions. I felt regret, heartache for sure. This is a sad song in my opinion. A lot of resignation, giving up. Um, giving in, but some hope as well. There was some more happy, uh, hopeful tones, just a bit here and there. I love that journey, a big emotional journey in this one. And again, this song is tailor-made to be open to interpretation by the listener. You know, take from it what you will. Yeah, so just a beautiful, beautiful song and a perfect song to be the album closer. It's getting the Epic Platinum Record Award, absolutely, for Lo Que Dice La Lluvia by Seru Hiran, 1981. And thank you so very much, the amazing Charlie Garcia, David Lebon, Pedro Aznar, and Oscar Moro. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you wish to chat about these two songs, I would love to know what you think. If you have other favorites by Seru Hiran. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past. Mm -hmm.